Hey everybody, uh, I probably should have put this up a little sooner, but uh, doing the back-to-back -back investigations and then I got a little bit busy, I had a really busy weekend, uh, which reminds me, if, uh, if you're going to get out in the heat, make sure you have plenty of water, because old James almost didn't, didn't have a Sunday. <laughs> Uh, I, I got a little overheated on Saturday. I just, it, my own mistake. I, got, I stayed out in the sun too much, and I didn't work, take enough water with me. And uh, it got pretty rough there toward the end of the day, but uh, it wasn't that bad. You know, I, I, I lived obviously, so uh, I made it through that. But I wanted to go ahead and put something together for uh, the for Barbara's house, the investigation of Barbara's house. Good grief! I've uh, yeah, I've been places that I picked up uh, clearer EVPs and, and voices and and stuff like that. But I don't know if I've ever been anywhere that we picked up that much stuff in that short of a time. That I mean, it was just almost constant you know, taps and knocks and bumps and and whispers and. Uh, like I say, none of, none of the voices were real clear, but there was a lot of stuff there. Uh, I'll leave links uh, in the description to uh, to my video and also to what the paranormal's video. I tried something a little different. Uh, I just set the camera in one of the bedrooms. It, it just so happens I picked the bedroom that felt the weirdest, and they had had cl uh, closet doors open in that room and stuff like that. And, no closet doors ever opened, and the video is a little over two hours long. Of course, toward the end, we, we do go in at a, couple, at a couple of points, and toward the end, I bring it out into the kitchen because we were getting some activity out there. But it's a little over two hours long, uncut, unedited. Uh, if you can sit through the whole thing, you're you're going to hear a lot. Uh, probably need headphones for most of it. Uh, and it, then we'll also leave the link to what the paranormal's video, which is uh, more of your, of your standard, you know, video. If you if you don't want to sit there for two hours, <laughs> which I completely understand if you don't. Uh, but I wanted to go ahead and go over the voice recorder that we had in Barbara's room. You could feel a presence in Barbara's room as well. It wasn't nearly as strong as that other bedroom. That other bedroom was, it was kind of rough. It, it, you'd get dizzy and uh, I can understand why she doesn't like to go in there to, to pick stuff up. But uh, in Barbara's room, uh, we still got a lot of stuff on the voice recorder. Now some of these are just uh, a kind of confirmation of noises that uh, that you'll see on what the paranormals video. Uh, I want to go ahead and put them on here because I can't remember. Instead of trying to go back over all of the the, the video, I just said, "Well, here's what what picked up on the voice recorder. Some of it I know they were in the room for, if nothing else." So uh, let's go ahead and get started on this. Uh, this first one is uh, Amy and Laney are in the room at the time. And there's just a, a bang, you'll hear uh, Laney react to it. This is about right around 23 minutes into into the recording. Is that you knocking? Is that you knocking? And of course, as always, I'll go ahead and play all the... Well, I think I'm only going to play each one of them twice this time, since there's so because there's like 13 different <laughs> different things I have here to play. So I'm only going to play each one of them twice. Uh, the next one was several minutes after they left, and it's a it's a short one, and it really it doesn't pick up as well. Of course, I, the best way to listen to some of this stuff is just directly off the voice recorder once you take it off the voice recorder, put it on the computer, and then edit it down and put it online. It, it loses some of its quality. Uh, but you'll hear, after, after about a second, you'll hear uh, it's the bed creaking. And you can tell it a little bit better directly off the voice recorder. It's 
more of a it sounds more like a random sound here but it does sound like the bed creaking and the reason I added this was because later when we went in and we're, we're taking video uh, I put the K2 just right down in the middle of the bed and the thing went nuts so it's almost like it was sitting there on the bed waiting on us or something Okay, a little bit more than 10 minutes later, uh, we pick this up, and it starts at about 3 seconds. It sounds like a possible voice. Now, you may hear some other stuff, I, I, which i got to add. Uh, we were making was way too much noise in the kitchen. And for myself, I mean, that's... I, I blame myself on it because I've been doing this long enough to know that you can't go in talking and, and cutting up and making that much noise in a house that small but it's, we still got some good stuff even even taken into consideration with that you can tell so that you can usually tell if something's in the room uh, that that's really more of a burden on us as we're going back through the audio sometimes you hear something it's like hey man, hey man you gotta go back over it two or three times before you finally figure out it's one of us in the kitchen but uh, this is this is pretty obvious in the room. The only reason I mention the thing about us in the kitchen is there are some other noises. I'm pretty sure that's that might be us in, in the kitchen that you kind of hear a little bit fainter. But like I said, about three seconds, you get something that kind of sounds like a voice. It was about uh, it was about seven minutes after that, just under the hour mark on the recording, uh, there's another voice that picks up. Uh, and again, can't quite make out what it's saying, but it does sound like uh, uh, some kind of whisper here. Okay, a little over an hour. This is probably... This is about five minutes after that last one. You hear what I hope is is a psst, like you're trying to catch capture someone's attention. Psst, or it could be a hiss. Uh, you can just uh, kind of give it a listen. It's it's some kind of psst sound anyway. Just a couple of minutes after that, <laughs> seemed like it was just coming one right after the other there for a little bit. Uh, but it, it, this next one, about three seconds into it, you'll hear a little bit of a whisper, which I believe is a voice in the room. Now at five seconds, you'll hear what I think is Laney in the other room. But immediately after that, there's like a kind of a, a whistle, almost like a. I go, this is just right after what, what I think is Laney. Okay, this next one's about the, about three minutes later. Uh, now it's just a couple of clicks or taps, but again, this is one of those that uh, it lost a little something coming off the voice recorder and, and all that. And off of the voice recorder, it sounds like it's right up there by the recorder. Uh, the first one's at about three seconds on the clip, and the second one is at about 17 seconds. Uh, this one I think I'm just going to play once since it's it's so long and then, like I say it's just a, a couple of clicks but I thought I'd put it in there. Now this was this is one that I. I wasn't sure about. Uh, I think it's about th about three seconds into this clip, and this this happened. 
a little, a little over an hour, about an hour and uh, 12 minutes into the recording. Uh, about three seconds into the clip, you'll hear a very different voice than, than any of the others that picked up. It's uh, fairly obviously a female voice. Sounds like he, she's saying Stewie. Now, <laughs> here's the thing. I could, Barbie had a couple of little dogs. And I couldn't remember what the dog's names were. So while I'm going to include this one, this this might be Laney talking to one of the dogs. Not to one of the dogs, but oh, what the hell? I'm going to put it in there anyway. Okay, about a, a minute later, uh, again, you'll hear us talking in the other room. We were, it was one of those moments we were getting way too loud, but I, I left it as long as it did to kind of show the difference between what I'm uh, the, the, the subject of the clip and the noise that was being made in the other room. Uh, it's about, I think it's about seven seconds in, there's a, a quick whisper. And like I say, you can tell it's it's in the room as opposed to the voices that you hear from the kitchen. Okay, me and Laney went into that room. Uh, of course, that's when we went in and we invited Bar uh, Barbara to come in there in a little bit. But uh, as we were trying to determine if maybe this was somebody in the room was someone that Barbara knew, uh, Laney asked if uh, if it was a man named Edward. And at right at eight seconds, there seems to be some kind of whisper uh, again. Can't doesn't really sound like a no, but it doesn't really sound like a yes either. Is this Edward? Is this Edward? Okay, as we were getting some responses from this, uh, from whoever was there, kind of using the K2, at least what seemed to be some kind of communication, uh, the responses we were getting, if, if indeed they were responses, seemed to indicate that uh, whoever this was was at least trying to make us think that it was Barbara's ex-husband, Sam. Now, Sam passed away. Uh, some quite a few years ago and I actually made a mistake on this uh, when we first started getting the hits on the K2 and it seemed like it was trying to communicate it indicated that uh, whoever it was did not die in the house well then we went and got Barbara and when we brought her in by the time we brought her in I forgot what the answer was that we had gotten then it switched its answer and I knew I figured this out watching the video or listen to the, the voice recorder rather. Uh, then it changed its answer, it seemed like. But anyway, uh, as we're sitting there trying to communicate, uh, asking questions, I did not personally know Sam. I've known Barbara and then some of her kids for a long time. I did not know Sam. And so I was asking how, to, how Sam died to try and determine if it was really Sam and we get this big noise and the, the uh, what we get on the voice recorder does not do it justice it was a much louder bang in person than, than what we're getting here did you have cancer Cancer. 
Okay, just about a minute later. Again, we're trying. We're I'm, I'm asking the whoever this was questions and telling him, okay, and we're just trying to determine if it's you or not. We get a second big bang. That one seemed to come more from the living room. The first one seemed like it was right there in the room, right behind Laney. The second one seemed like it came from more in the living room. You'll hear a. Hear us call out to Amy, who was in there, to ask to make sure it wasn't her that had knocked something over. We're just trying to make sure it's you. And I don't know how Sam died, so. What? Was that you? No, that's not me. We're just trying to make sure it's you. And I don't know how Sam died, so. What? Was that you? No, that's not me. Okay, and finally, uh, we didn't really get much of anything for a little over 10 minutes. And Amy went back into that room. I, thought, I believe she was by herself. And she apparently heard a bang. Now, I caught a couple of things right before she said that. I don't know if that's what she was talking about or not, but you'll hear like a couple of tapping noises and then hear Amy say something. Okay, I just heard a bang. I don't know if you got that on there, James. Okay, I just heard a bang. I don't know if you got that on there, James. Okay, and that's uh, that's it for the voice recorder. Uh, like I say, if you want to go uh, check out the videos, uh, mine is titled "Just Private Home Investigation." Like I say, if you if you want to watch the whole thing, uh, it is a little over two hours long. You might want to buckle yourself in, but there's a there's a lot of stuff, especially kind of toward the end. There's a uh, at one at one point, kind of right before I come in to get the camera at the end of the night. There's uh, a couple of uh, fairly loud noises in there and right before Amy goes in by herself there's also you'll hear a couple of uh, pretty loud whispers there's uh, one just right as she's opening the door it almost sounds like a ha <laughs> so if you if you want to watch that whole thing and then uh, if you want to watch uh, what the paranormal has the the uh, the toned down version if you don't want to sit there for two hours uh, we'll leave a link to it as well uh, not sure when we're going to go back out again like I say it's getting up to a busy time of year for me uh, but we'll uh, I'm sure I'll go back out with them again sometime uh, I'm also going to have some walking dead stuff coming up and I might be making a little trip down to south Texas uh, well maybe maybe in the next couple of weeks uh, so I'll have some more stuff coming out, and of course, like I said, paranormal research is your thing, and I'm sure we'll we'll have some more of that coming up. But uh, I'll say links in the description. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.